New fallout this morning from an explosive allegation from a former January 6th committee advisor. Do you get a real aha moment when you see that the White House switchboard had connected to a rioter's phone while it's happening? Wait a minute. Someone in the White House was calling one of the rioters while the riot was going on? On January 6th, absolutely. Former GOP Congressman Denver Riggleman, who served on the committee's staff, telling 60 Minutes Sunday that someone at the White House on January 6th, 2021, placed a call to a rioter at the Capitol. But this morning, the circumstances of that call, including who placed it, still not clear. The committee telling NBC News Mr. Riggleman had, quote, limited knowledge of the committee's investigation. And as members of the committee look to refocus the nation's attention to the events of January 6th, they also seem to be downplaying the call's potential significance. I can't say anything specific about that particular call, but we are aware of it. Uh, and we're aware of lots of contacts between uh, people in the White House and different people that were involved. Without the advantage of the additional information we've gathered since he left the committee, you know, it, it uh, I think, poses real risk to be suggesting things. It comes as the committee gets ready to hold its ninth public hearing on Wednesday, its first since late July, focusing on former President Trump's attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Leading that hearing, committee vice chair Liz Cheney, a fierce Trump critic who now says she would campaign for Democrats in order to stop any Republican candidates promoting election lies. Cheney, who lost her primary to a Trump-backed challenger last month, also threatening to leave the GOP if Mr. Trump is the party's 2024 nominee. I'm going to make sure Donald Trump, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure he's not the nominee. And if he is the nominee, I won't be a Republican. And as we look ahead to that next January 6th hearing later on this week, it is expected to be more sweeping potentially than the ones we've already seen, with some new information set to be revealed, according to Congressman Adam Schiff, who also says that any possible criminal referral for former President Donald Trump would probably have to be a unanimous one by members of the committee. Lots going on here in D.C. this week. Savannah. All right. Hallie Jackson on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Hallie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.